it's currently 9 a.m i'm not home right now but i'm somewhere very special and have a lot of updates to show y'all like a whole bunch of updates a whole bunch of announcements to make i've been working extensively on the platform i'm building a new platform a new project a new service actually i'm just going to show you the updates today there's a lot of exciting things that are coming but first i gotta eat i'm going to show you one of the best delicacies of cameroon because i think that cameroon has the best food in the world if you don't know what cameroon is it's the country where i'm from everybody should know what cameroon is but if you don't know no problem okay take a look at this this is a platform looks so good on the laptop but anyways i'm going to show you it in more detail for now i gotta get back home i'm just going to take a walk home because my home is not really far from here i'm actually in a friend's place so let's go so it's a very sunny day this is a very good weather to go swim to go stroll i guess walking on the street is a form of strolling i'm actually walking home once i get home i'm going to show you the big updates i have on the platform the big announcement i have it's not actually an announcement but it's like something new that i'm doing that i also want to share with you it also falls in the educational technology space or the ed tech so while i'm moving let me even give you a small story time on how i did to even get started with this project or with this platform and all this kind of so initially i didn't want to do in the educational space i wanted to do in the fintech space because if you don't know already the fintech space is booming like it's booming on every in every part of the world especially in africa fintech startups are popping up like every single day so i wanted to tap into this market that is the fintech market so i started building a platform that helps you send money from one african country to the other so while building the platform i realized that i'll need to raise a lot of capital in order to um to launch the project i'll have to have a lot of authorization because fintech you're basically dealing with people's money and when you deal with people's money you need authorization you need all this kind of stuff so, so i didn't have the means for that so i had an idea how do i do to raise money or to generate money in order to uh fund my fintech project so i started applying for y combinator i applied for certain uh startup incubators and all this kind of stuff and then i had a brilliant idea to start another project in order to fund my fintech startup that is when i decided to get into the educational space so i told myself that okay what if this knowledge i have that is uh, programming and all this kind of stuff what if i can teach people and people pay me to teach them and then i use the money i get paid to uh, fund my fintech startup and that is how oralen was born the program at the university was born and all this was born so the more i the more i made research in the educational space the more i started seeing that there is even more opportunity in the educational space and the space is even more interesting that is when i started trying to build a platform trying to build a course and yeah today we are here so i don't want to get too in depth into all these stories but yeah this is just to tell you that i actually got into the educational space by mistake it wasn't my initial plan i've never been interested in it i didn't even like teaching people before well i started this to fund another project and at the end of the day i'm in love with it i actually want to move the space i want to get the space to another level anyway let me get back home and get back to work and then we will see what we're going to do for the day So I'm home right now. I'm trying to call the bank right now because I received a deposit, as you can hear here, and I'm trying to get it, uh, and I'm trying to get it transferred to me. But the bank said that they're going to hold it for nine days to do security checks or whatever. So I'm currently on the phone. For the past 24 minutes, I've been on hold. So I'll just go to the bank right now and see if it can be resolved because I don't want to have to wait for nine days. If I can get it today or tomorrow, it's gonna be good. So I'll go to the bank now. I'll see if I can resolve it. And yeah. Can you please have your name? Uh, my name is Tony Bradley. Hi, Mr. Bradley. Sure, there, are, is, there is another name on the account. So I just got off the phone with the bank. And unfortunately, they say there's nothing they can do. I only have to wait for nine days for the deposit to show up in my account. And I really needed to use it because I'm trying to get a new apartment. And I actually needed it. But well... What can we do? I'm just gonna keep working. So let me show you the updates that I've currently done on the platform. So here's the platform, I'm on the signing page. Let me go ahead and sign into my account page. 
is this cool little animation that shows up when everything is loading so this is the main section i added so far so this is the ongoing course since there is a, a full stack development program that is the main program on the platform it will have precedence over the other courses so this is the ongoing course you can see the design here you can see this nice progress bar here and i've also modified the course player that is the course player page it's way more responsive way more dynamic let's go to a video lesson uh let's um, make it a little bit responsive let's minimize it like this and we maximize it we see that it's responsive and then once it reaches a point it stops at the maximum height so it shouldn't only keep expanding and then cross the whole screen so it reaches at the point and then it stops expanding and now below this you can go to the next course sorry the next lesson you can go to the next lesson we also have text lessons here and then you can also go to the previous lesson then right up here you can mark a lesson as complete and then let, let me show you here if you mark a lesson as complete it's going to mark here and then come to the next lesson there's also a comment section where you can come and add comments and as you can see it's very responsive so if i close it here and i open it here let me go to a video lesson i think it'll be better like this like this and then you open it you can add a comment so what else so, so i've also added the calendar section where we can basically schedule classes so this is a previous class this is a class we had last week a live class and if we click on view details we can see the details of the class we can also see the recorded lesson of the class this is actually the recorded lesson here that we can play in real time yeah, right here what we're going to do and then if we want to go to the calendar to see all the classes that are being scheduled we come here to the calendar we can come here we see that this is the class of last week schedule the class i just have to go to my back end section and schedule the class back there we can also see classes in the form of um, a list or in the form of a calendar if this calendar section looks familiar i actually took the design from the school platform that is a school that is run by alec hormozy i took it from the school platform because why not we copy from the greatest right anyways anyways most of the updates are just like cool animations aesthetics here um what else we have the calendar we have the courses and also the project section so in this project section here you can actually see the ongoing project so if you're like let's say on the seven let's say the 12th week of the course this is the current project you're supposed to be doing so if you click on continue project uh and then you come to the project you can see the description uh, you can see the resources uh and your submit button you can come and submit it here so this project has been submitted we can view the feedback and here is the grade and your project feedback so yeah uh, these are other projects and yeah so everything else is still the same this is basically the dashboard you see once you enter the program and you've registered so we have our entrance exam in two days we can see if we click on it right here it tells you that exam not available and you can go to the preparation materials to uh, study for the exam so here are the preparation materials you can actually browse through the material here and yeah i don't know if i had mentioned this already but before i was using wordpress to run this program and wordpress was very limited uh it wasn't too limited it was there were a lot of things you could do with wordpress alongside plugins but it was quite slow because wordpress is quite huge there's a lot of code going on there and when you want to go to a page it has to reload the whole resources and just doing something simple like grading a quiz or creating a quiz takes a lot of time on WordPress. So with my own implementation using React.js and Tailwind CSS with Firebase, everything is way, way, way faster. I can say my platform is like 20 times faster than WordPress. So I switched from WordPress to uh, school.com because WordPress was quite slow, was too heavy and was taking a lot of money because I also have a mo I also had a mobile app that used WordPress as its backend. So I, I, spend, I was spending over a thousand dollars a month just running the program on WordPress. But well, it wasn't that bad. So later on, I decided to switch to school.com. That is a platform run by Alex Hormozy. And it was pretty good, but it was quite limited. Like, I couldn't get students to subscribe to a course. Like, some students cannot pay upfront. They pay monthly. You don't have a built-in functionality for that in on school. You can't use other payment methods like African payment methods like Flutterwave, but I could do so on WordPress. And there are just so many limitations. That's why I decided to build my own platform. And now, 
since I built my own platform, the whole purpose of building my platform is not just to run my program. And this platform is not just to host courses. As the name suggests, the Programmers University is actually an online school. So I don't want something that you can only host courses, like what school is providing or what WordPress was providing. I need a place where you can track students more like a school. Like I also want to track alumni. I also want to be able to provide more opportunities to students for them to communicate with each other. Even after they've graduated, also a place where you can actually display the best students and you have a place where recruiters can come and see them so a whole database and you know just to do more with the data that's why i decided to build my own platform so the next feature i'm going to be working on is a community feature i don't know if i'll be able to so i'm going to start that feature today it'll take me a couple of days to finish it and if you're wondering how i'm doing to build features so quickly it's also thanks to ai like I have my UI UX designer, we sketch the idea. I sketch how the data is going to flow in the background or in the database. And then I use AI to go like 20 times faster. That is why when people always say that AI will take developer's job, I'm like, it won't take developer's job, it will just make us way faster. A feature I would have taken two weeks to implement without AI. Now I take a couple of hours, let's say like six hours to implement without AI. Like the calendar feature I just showed you right now, I bet you, Without AI, I would have taken at least a week to implement that or, if, or let's say five days if I was working like eight hours a day. But I kid you not, I took five hours to implement that. Like I had the design, I started laying everything out. Then I was just working with uh, ChatGPT plus Cloud AI because I have both subscriptions. And in the matter of five, six hours, I was done. So that's how I'm doing to implement things way faster. I harness technology and the latest technology to go way faster and I build I build stuff way way faster right now and I'm and I can't complain. So the next feature I'm going to build is a classroom feature because right now we communicate on WhatsApp but I want that we should also be able to communicate on the platform. As I said it's an online school you should also be able to communicate on the platform. Then next on the road we also have video calls, audio calls like live meetings and so on. That'll be later on. And in the meantime too, I've decided to expand the technology further to also build it for people. In the next few days, I'll be launching a development agency that is focused on educational technology companies. Let's say individuals want to build educational software or even institutions. So I started building the landing page already and the landing page is done, but there's, there's also going to be a backend because once you come and you pay, you give me all the features you want it to be implemented and I'm going to take care of it for you. So anybody who wants a custom software built for them that is in the educational space because that's my focus. I provide a UI UX designer for you, a project manager, full stack developer, I mean a whole team for you. All you need to do is to provide your features what you want to be included in your software, what you want to be taken out, and we develop it in less than a month. As we go on any feature you want, we develop it for you. So that is a new thing I'm launching. It's in the ad tech space, but it's more of a service rendering stuff. So let me show you the landing page. So here's the landing page right here. The name of the platform is Oralearn. We basically provide technological solutions to educational institutions or people who just want to have an online school. So let me show you the animation, the code the animations right here. Once you get on the landing page, this is basically the landing page, what we offer, how it works, our past projects, uh, the pricing and so on. So this is the pricing here. The pricing is 5K per month. So I showed this to a friend and the friend was shouting like, that is so much, why is the pricing so much? And I was like, just imagine that you have a whole team, a team of developers, a team of designers, a team of project managers and product managers that are readily available for you 24 seven and building you top notch features, unlimited design for 5,000 a month. How is it gonna make you feel? When I put it that way, that's when they understood that, oh, that is literally very small. Because to hire those people individually is going to take a company or someone like $30,000 per month. But you're basically getting all of this and a custom solution built for you readily with for just $5,000 a month. So that is actually the service I'm going to be rendering starting very soon. And it's going to be focused in the educational space. I'm only solving educational technology problems. That is, anybody wants to get into the educational space and build real software to manage there are classes to get students to join and to do any custom development you can think of because everything that is out there is very limited i mean most of the apps go between 99 dollars a month to like 300 dollars a month it's sure you can't really have everything with those but once you go with custom development 
any feature you can think of, you can implement it, or any type of way you want it to work, you can actually implement it. So that's what I'm doing for my platform. And my platform is a testament of it being worth it. So that is basically what I'm working on. So the next features I'm going to be working on is the community feature, the classroom features. And I'm also going to be working on this overland platform because I want that when people come on the platform, after you make the payment, you should be able to submit your request, your, your feature request directly on the dashboard. We manage it on the back end, so we shouldn't have to make too many calls. You can just send your request, you receive your design within one or two days. We start working on features or we start working on your app and we release it in less than a month. So that's basically what I'm working on. I'm going to make a formal video showing the demo of all my platforms, uh, talking more in depth about all of these things. But for now, yeah, this is what it is. So it's currently 11.53 a.m. My day just started actually. So I have a lot of time to do what I have to do. And yeah, so I'm going to start working on the community section today. I'll probably launch it uh, in the next two days and I'm going to still update you guys on it. I've built an actual forum section already and it was pretty quick because obviously I used AI to aid me and one thing I've realized is that I don't really need more features so I've been thinking that I've not really been focusing on marketing I've not really been marketing what I do I've, I haven't been advertising I haven't been talking about it and that is not good I can only spend time building 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 then at what point am I going to let the world know anyway let me show you the community section I've built so far so this is it right here I call it classroom so basically it's a place where students can talk with each other I mean I don't need to explain it too much it's just a forum section uh, where you can post stuff you can comment you can reply to comments and stuff like that so you can come here you can see this also uh, yeah simply this and when you want to post you come here and you post anything you can post up to three images yeah I'm not sure I'm going to release this update I'm not sure I'm going to push this one because I don't really feel it like I don't really see the utility but like it's interesting it's a cool feature but I don't really see how it adds to the educational part of everything like I I communicate with my students right now on WhatsApp and WhatsApp is pretty good it's good enough for everything that we're doing so yeah I think this is not a very useful feature and I've just wasted my time on it but anyways, after this, I'm going to start brainstorming on marketing ideas, how I can advertise the platform more, advertise what I'm doing more, even also my agency and stuff like that. So I'm going to be looking at channels like TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and all that. So yeah, I'm going to be ending the vlog right now. I'll take a break before coming back and working on the marketing and actually scripting new videos and stuff like that. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to be part of this journey and you're not yet part of this journey, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and see you in the next one.